everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here to do a double unboxing and review of two handbags. I am working with Miloy. It is a Turkish brand that specializes in handbags, shoes, and other uh, leather accessories. And they are really well known for their geometric shapes and designs. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love travel, fashion, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos. Like I said, today is an unboxing and a review. I usually do them separately, but today I thought I'd lump them together in the same video. Let me know what you think of this cadence or if you'd rather see them done separately. Miloy is a brand that I've worked with last year and I am very glad to work with them again this year. I actually went to Turkey earlier this year. If you have seen my vlog videos, if you haven't, I'll list them below. But I love the country. I love the two places I've been to. I know there's so many more cities to visit, but the culture, the food, the decorations, the design, everything was like so cool. So Anyway, I'm so happy to work with them again because now I've seen this side of Turkey and yeah. If you've been here before, you'll know that I have unboxed one handbag from Miloy last year. A lot of you did request for me to do an updated review, which I did earlier this year as well. But in case you have not heard about this brand before, Miloy was founded in 2015 by a woman named Meb Ru, And her goal was to create a brand that has good quality items, great craftsmanship, and also sustainable. They have a factory in Turkey where they work on creating the designs, and because they work with a lot of materials themselves, the craftsmen, craftswomen are on site, they can also reuse some of the leather materials and create things without waste. So um, I like that that sustainability is there. I like that there is unique designs, and of course I love the colors. So I am going to share two with you today. I have already unboxed it, and I'll insert the clips here. Basically, they come in these beautiful green boxes, one of my favorite shades, and it is a very good quality box. It also reminds me a lot of like a pastel -y kind of, I don't, I don't know, it's just kind of right up my alley, so I love it. Their handbags also do come in a similar color dust bag. This is a very high quality cotton dust bag with the same color drawstring, so it's like every time I travel with it, I'm, I'm always happy to open my suitcase and see this because it's a really fun color. Milo is currently headquartered in both Turkey and the USA, and they also offer free worldwide shipping, which is amazing. I will list a bunch of my favorites down below if you're interested. So as you can see from the unboxing, I received two handbags. One is a mini size and one is a regular size. These are both the Flex style. So I have one right here. This is the regular size. As you can see, I picked it in the gummy color. This color was one that I like thought about getting the first time, but I ended up with the milky color. So here is the milky color. This is my first Miloy bag and it is actually quite comparable. Um, I'm not gonna do a comparison video today, but in case you are interested, I can do a comparison video later on down the line. So please leave it in the comments below if you're interested. But I just wanted to show you this is the milky color and this is the gummy color. The gummy color has a bunch of pastel incorporated into it as you can see. So it's like right up my alley as well. It is very, very compact, but it can fit a lot. So I've been currently using it um, as I, told you. I've been trying to use it a lot for the last two months to do this review video, but I can quickly kind of show you what I have in here, I suppose. This one, um, I have my sunglasses. I have my wallet. I have a hair clip. I have headphones. I have a hand lotion. I have tissue. Um, a little Hermes Bastia coin purse with like my, just some like meds and stuff. Uh, lippy from Dior. Uh, car keys, some trash too. 
so I don't need to show you that. But that is it right there. Um, it could fit obviously a lot, lot, lot more. Let me just show you my uh, iPad mini. Um, this one, it does fit, but you can't put it in exactly like that. So the reason why is um, because well, actually you can, so it depends. So let me just share with you the features of this. Uh, you can see that it kind of folds in like so. And when it does that, it creates a different geometric shape. So if you pull it close, it's harder to put something in because it cr decreases the size across the bag. But if you pull it flat like this, it creates a longer path across and then that's when you can slip in your um, iPad mini. If, if you were wearing it on the shoulder like this, it does kind of pull up the sides. So what you just need to do is twist it and then pull it up. So it is quite simple to, to bring an iPad mini. Um, you can also bring a water bottle. This one, um, depending on you know how big your bottle so this one is uh 500 ml or 16.9 fluid ounces it will stick up but you can put it sideways and it would be fine if you did not need something of that size you can also bring a smaller one this one is about i think half the size i always forget this one this one's about 236 ml so that one can fit inside no problem like it doesn't really bulge too much because it does it's supposed to create that dome shape anyway but you can easily put, put that with like your um ipad mini and some other things as well it does become harder to put things bulky because this is a very slim profile so um i, I think it's really hard to put like a water bottle and more things that are bulky but if you have skinny items, so like wallets or, you know, little coin purses or hand lotions, lippies, anything that's not too like, like wide, um, it would fit really nicely in here. So that's what it looks like right now. And there's tons of space for you to stack on. I can even put like my sunglasses. So you can you can fit a ton of stuff. And the, the bag itself is pretty lightweight on its own without anything in it. So even with all the stuff in it, it doesn't feel too bad. And the crossbody or shoulder strap right here um, is adjustable. So I have it, I don't even have it on the shortest length and I'm pretty short. So this is um, something that you can actually remove quite easily they have these same locking tabs as the Sarah tote that I showed before but basically there's like a little clip right here so you can push up like that as you can see and then you can slide this part off and then you can also slide it off of this part so you don't have to undo any of the strap you don't have to like undo this to like loop it out you can easily just um, take it off by the uh, clasps and then what you can do is take the remaining strap and clasp it to here. So you could wear it as like a top handle like this um, or like a little clutch. This one's a little big for that, but I'll show you the mini in just a second where you can definitely wear it as a really cute clutch. So I'm loving this bag. I've been using it so much. It's so easy just to like toss things in and then go on the run go on a grocery run, target run, you know, coffee run. The construction of this bag is a Italian cow leather on the outside. All of these pieces are even the different colored ones. Uh, at the bottom, there's no feet, but it does say Miloy right there. And these are also the same leather material. Now this top part right here, this little brown piece, which like kind of falls very effortlessly and allows you to kind of like dome this up a little bit this really soft piece is suede and it is something that i think people have asked me about before like is it suede or not so it is suede and the inside of this bag um let me see if i can show you so the inside of this bag right here you can see that there is a miloy tag and then two pockets that slips down like right here this inside piece is um, a canvas material so um, I don't know if I can maybe I can show you this way so it's a canvas material right here some of them are lined with a micro suede and that one that was a question before so the micro suede is the inside if there is micro suede inside uh, but otherwise the top part is suede it's like real leather so okay um, so far uh, this bag is not 
I mean, I can't see any like huge wear and tear, just like I did not see any on the Cerakote. But let me just look for a few things just to double check to give you real time. Okay, so I do see, let's see if it'll focus. It'll be kind of hard to see, but there is a slight scratch right there. Let's see if I could maybe get the light. Right there, right there. You see that, that line? So that one is scratched, likely when I'm wearing it um, on the shoulder across body and it rubs this way. And then let's see on the other side, there might be a slight indentation. Actually, I don't think it is. is there? I don't know. I'm being very nitpicky. Oh, oh, there's one right here. Okay, so um, let's see if I'll focus. There's like a scratch right here on the leather, right there on the green part. So it's the same... It's actually the, I think it's the same. Um, it's, it's like right here on the yellow and then right here on the green. So I think it is just me, you know, rubbing it against, you know, my jacket or clothes and it's inevitable because this is a smooth leather. And so, it, you know, but it's not very obvious. And I think if I try to like buff it out with just rubbing my finger through it, cause it's not, it's not gouged in, it's just surface scratches. I might be able to save it. But honestly, even with that, I, you can't really tell and so I've been using it for quite a bit now, uh, like, oh, I want to say maybe like at least over 15 times, right? So um, I'll continue to wear it more and let you know if there are any updates, but seeing that the Cerakote has done really well and it's been over you know, eight months now uh, that I don't expect this one to be too bad. But yeah, so I just wanted to share with you the updates on this bag um, and you now see what could fit in here. I'll jump over to the mini and then tell you a little bit more about uh, the bags. So interesting fact is that the flex style, this is the mini size and it's in the blossom color. This flex style is actually one of their earliest designs, but they have brought it back in this size. So they've always had the regular, but they brought it back more recently in the mini size, which is this. And there's also actually one smaller called a micro. I didn't end up picking the micro one up because I thought this one was already small enough, but if you are into mini bags, I think that one would be a really cute one to get. Let me just share with you what, um, I could fit. right now there's like a scarf in here because I was bringing this to travel. So let me just put that out. So here's my scarf. So it's the same construction as the regular size gummy, but this one, like I said, it's in the blossom. It does still have that Miloy uh, embossing at the bottom of the bag, no feet. And the sides of all this is made of Italian cow leather, smooth leather. This strap right here is the same leather as well as the pull tab. And then this little soft piece right here, which is in pink instead of brown, is suede. The inside is lined with this micro suede material. So this is not real suede, but it is um, more soft than the cotton one that I showed you before. And at the very bottom, there's the same cow leather in pink. So this bag is smaller. I think it's less of an everyday bag, but it is more of like a dressy kind of event bag. So if I clipped it, you can wear it as a clutch like this. But what I think is really cool is you can also wear it one more way, which I did not show you on the regular size because I think it's a little too big to do that. But what you can do is take that same clip and clip both straps instead of looping it through here you clip both of them through Let's see if i could do this holding it up like so so you clip both of them through like that so you see the strap now goes through the same piece and you take this loop and you pull it down so now you have this really cute menagerie kind of style and you can wear it as a wristlet like so. So now you can wear, I don't know if you can see, I have my arm like right here, but you can imagine if I like had it down next to this, my side, it will look really, really cute. Um, and I actually did wear this to a recent wedding um, and it kind of matched my uh, yellow dress quite a bit. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I already posted this outfit with this bag and I think it looked really cute, but just look how unique it is. I decided to pick this one in just the one color because um, I don't know, I, I, I guess I really like the gummy, but I thought if I'm going out or, you know, if I am 
wearing it for a party, it's more likely that I want a solid color. But yeah, I think any of their colors, they have so many different ones would be great. They actually have a metallic one, but um, I would be cautious about that one because metallic leather generally leaves more finger marks or scratches more easily. So to give you an idea of what this one in terms of wear and tear looks like, um, I think I use this one slightly less than the gummy regular size flex. And yeah, so I actually don't see any wear and tear. I did wear this crossbody. Let me put on the crossbody strap. It's the same design right here. So you take this clip, you open it, and then you hook it through here like that. And then you take the other end right here, which you can adjust. Um, so you take that and again, you loop it through here like that and then now you have a cross body strap so when I went traveling and I use this for the wedding I also used it on you know just like a date night or like during a farmer's market I wore this bag and I could wear a cross body this one's definitely a smaller size so for example I won't be able to put an iPad mini in here um, I mean it could stick out like that but you probably don't want to wear it like that um, the smaller bottle will fit in here, as you can see, and you can still zip it up. Um, but yeah, you don't you don't see a bulge because there is that design aspect of it doming out anyway. So you could put a mini one in here. You cannot put the big one in here. But I can easily put like my wallet in here. It could still fit my sunglasses. It could still fit a ton of stuff uh, that the regular size can, but obviously not the bigger, you know, iPad. So I really liked both of them. I could like, I mean, these serve different purposes. I would not wear the regular size for a wedding, um, but I also can't wear this one for like a full day out type of thing. So just to show you side by side, um, this is the regular size. This is the mini and the micro, which I don't have is even smaller. But if you can take a look, you could see that the depth of these two are very similar. If anything, I would say the mini is even wider. So um, if you want something that is bulky to be able to put in your bag, I think the mini one would actually fit a bigger, wider item. But this one is great to like very slim line against your body. You can even like wear it as a clutch like this. So yeah, whereas the mini, I mean, you can wear it as a clutch. But yeah, I think this one looks really chic and like kind of office appropriate almost even. Um, so yeah, you can definitely get it in a less colorful option. This one does come in a more uh, neutral color as well. So that is an option. This one is great for, you know, converting into a crossbody, a wristlet and allow you to do a lot of things. So the price point of these are actually really good for like really high quality Italian leather and interesting designs. I guarantee you won't find anything out there like this. Um, it's one of the first and it's very low key. There's only besides, you know, the bottom that says Miloy, there's also a little Miloy thing right here. Um, for the mini, there's not even that. Uh, it's only at the bottom. So the pricing of both of these, like I was saying, is actually very good. This one is uh, $4.75 and it is, like I said, a very very high quality product. This one is $3.95, although I think the metallic one is a little bit more expensive. So yeah, it's it's totally reasonable and you're getting something so unique and um, very well crafted as well. The Micro Flex, which I don't have here, is $3.25. So it's not that much less than this one. I would probably, if you couldn't decide, I would say go for the mini uh, because it's not that much more and you could fit just a little bit more. The flex, I believe you cannot fit your phone. So the mini, I could fit my uh, Google phone. I have the Pixel 5 in here like this, but you can see that I, I needed to like wiggle it out. So um, there's plenty of space once you get in there, but like this, this part, putting it in um, does take a little bit of work. If you got the micro size, it will likely not fit. But I can't really say, cause I don't obviously have it, but I would just say like, 
if I were to recommend one size. Um, this is kind of like the one size fits most. Uh, whereas this one, you can obviously fit everything, but you can't really easily wear it to an event. It'd be very bulky, but you could fit everything you need. The micro is so cute. And I would say, unless you like micro bags, I might just pay, you know, a little bit less than a hundred dollars to get upgrade to the bigger size. Oh, also another thing I want to point out that the top, there's only one zipper across for this um, mini size, but there are two zippers for the larger size. So just so you know, that, like you can zip it up differently. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review video from Miloy. I love both of these bags. I also really love the Cerakote. Um, so if you would like a comparison, especially of this regular size, because I think this one is most comparable in size with the Cerakote that I have, I'll leave it in the comments below. I know a lot of you have been asking me about the Miloy bags recently. I would love to know which one you have in your collection and would maybe recommend. Um, I currently only have two styles. Uh, one of which I have two sizes of, but I would love to get more in my collection in the future. I would love to hear your thoughts, uh, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!